The Patriapazi, formerly known as the Sisupazi, stands as a remarkable Finnish creation in the realm of armoured personnel carriers. Developed for the Finnish Defence Forces, this six-wheeled armoured personnel carrier commenced serial production in 1984. Engineered with a focus on user-friendly operation, uncomplicated construction, and cost-effective maintenance, the PASI exhibits a familiar design and structure akin to other wheeled armoured personnel carriers. Notably, the X-180 and X-185 variants possess full amphibious capabilities, setting them apart from their counterparts. The Patria PASI boasts impressive specifications that make it a formidable presence on the battlefield. With a mass of 13.5 tonnes, it strikes a balance between mobility and protection. Measuring 7.35 metres in length, 2.9 metres in width, and standing at a height of 2.77 metres, the PASI provides ample space for its crew of two and can accommodate up to 16 passengers. This spacious interior allows for effective true transportation, ensuring both comfort and functionality. Whether it's carrying soldiers to their destination or providing support in combat scenarios, the Patria Pazi offers a versatile and reliable platform for military operations. The Patria Pazi is equipped with powerful and reliable engines that provide the necessary propulsion for its operations. The XA200 variant features the Valmet 612 DWIBIC engine, boasting a turbocharged and intercooled configuration with six inline cylinders. This engine generates a higher power output of 271 horsepower at 2,100 rounds per minute, with a maximum torque of 1,080 newton meters at 1,600 rounds per minute. With a power-to-weight ratio of 17.48 horsepower per ton, the Patria Pazi exhibits excellent mobility capabilities. Its suspension system utilizes parabolic leaf springs paired with hydraulic shock absorbers ensuring stability and maneuverability over various terrains. The PAS's operational range spans 850 kilometers, allowing for extended missions without frequent refueling. On land, the Patria PASI can achieve a maximum speed of approximately 105 kilometers per hour, while in water, it maintains a speed of 9 kilometers per hour, showcasing its amphibious capabilities. Whether on land or in aquatic environments, the Patria Pazi proves to be a versatile and reliable asset for military operations. The Patria Pazi's main superstructure is constructed primarily from 12 mm of armoured steel, ensuring a high level of protection for its occupants by providing all-round Stanag Level 3 protection. The vehicle's bottom is reinforced to withstand mine blasts, enhancing its survivability in hostile environments. To safeguard the crew and passengers, the front windows are bullet-resistant and equipped with protective hatches, providing additional security during operations. The PAS's continuous six-wheel drive system grants it excellent off-road capabilities, allowing it to navigate challenging terrains with ease. Remarkably, the vehicle can handle inclines of up to 60 degrees, further enhancing its mobility in various landscapes. Additionally, it is equipped with eight BMP-style firing ports located on the sides and rear of the vehicle. This feature enables the squad of infantry typically transported by the PASI to engage in combat while benefiting from the protection of the armoured vehicle's cover. This integration of firepower in armoured transport enhances the PASI's combat effectiveness and ensures that troops can effectively engage targets while remaining shielded behind its protective armour. The Patria Pazi can be armed with a primary weapon, such as a 12.7mm NSV or M2 Browning machine gun. This heavy machine gun serves as the main armament, providing the vehicle with a formidable firepower capability. The versatility of the Pazi allows for the installation of different weapons based on operational requirements, ensuring adaptability and combat readiness in various scenarios. The Patria Pazi has garnered popularity in peacekeeping missions for several reasons, making it a preferred choice in such operations. Its mobility is a key factor, allowing it to navigate various terrains and reach remote areas swiftly. One of the notable strengths of the PASI lies in its excellent protection against mines and improvised explosive devices. The reinforced bottom and mine strengthened structure significantly enhance 
the safety of the vehicle and its occupants when operating in hazardous environments. Furthermore, the PASI offers commendable protection against shrapnel and small caliber fire, ensuring the safety of the crew and passengers during missions. The vehicle strikes a balance between armament, comfort, and mine protection, providing peacekeeping forces with a versatile and effective platform. It offers a combination of firepower, with the option to mount a heavy machine gun, alongside a comfortable interior for the crew and passengers. The PAS's road speed enables rapid response and maneuverability, crucial in dynamic peacekeeping situations. In terms of practicality, the PASI boasts a short learning curve, requiring minimal time for drivers to become proficient in operating the vehicle. This reduces training requirements and allows peacekeeping forces to quickly adapt to the vehicle's capabilities. The Patria PASI has an extensive service record in various conflict zones, demonstrating its effectiveness and reliability in challenging operational environments. It has been deployed in conflict areas such as Afghanistan, Bosnia, Croatia, Eritrea, Golan Heights, Iraq, Kosovo, Lebanon, Macedonia, Namibia, Liberia, Somalia, and Chad, among others. These deployments highlight the versatility and adaptability of the PASI, as it has proven its worth in diverse combat scenarios and peacekeeping operations. Moreover, the international community has recognized the value of the PASI, leading to instances of donations for humanitarian and military aid. In 2022, Finland reportedly provided an undisclosed number of X, a 180 and 185 variant, to Ukraine as part of a comprehensive aid package amidst the escalating Russo-Ukrainian war. This gesture highlights the trust placed in the PAS's capabilities and its potential to bolster the defence capabilities of recipient nations in times of conflict. The Patria PASI comes in various iterations to meet diverse operational needs. The SISU X-180 serves as the original six-wheeled variant, providing a balance of mobility and troop capacity. The upgraded SISU X-185 boasts a more powerful engine and improved power transmission, accommodating additional personnel and finding utility as an ambulance in the Norwegian Army. The Patria X-186 features upgraded armour and a machine-assisted gun turret, sacrificing amphibious capabilities for enhanced protection. The Patria X-188 serves the Royal Netherlands Army, while the Patria X-202 and 203 series exhibits increased armour, limited water wading capability, and modern optical aids for improved situational awareness. These variations highlight the adaptability and customization of the Patria PASI to suit specific operational requirements. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more content.